Hello everybody. It's Monday. It's 4 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Give everyone a moment to walk in. Thank you, computer. Let me guess, that's me watching. It is me watching myself. <laughs> yep. There it is. All right. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Give a shout out when you're in the house. Who am I? Who's with me right now? Who's with me? Come on now. I got five of your eyes. I got your eyes. <laughs> Anywho, I hope everyone had a great weekend. Let me go ahead and start things off. We're going to be... Uh, Starting off with some stuff at the uh, Coffee Comic Shop. Just kind of give you a taste of some of the uh, editions available that are of the Naughty Persuasions. Not necessarily super naughty, but naughty enough to... I have to put stickers on them. Yes, yes, the stickers. Stickers. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay. Quick, before I get things started, I want to give a shout out and say thank you for everyone for the birthday wishes uh, this weekend. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, it was nice to get all these messages and, of course, tons of Godzilla pictures. Um, I think there was some birthday with some busty lady smashing a cake on herself. I don't remember the cake. Anyways, uh, whoever sent those things, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, lots of love from you all. It's always good to... Uh, well, it's a weird year to be celebrating, but you know what I mean. It's always good to hear from everyone, so thank you again, everybody. Let's start things off with the Coffin Comics store real quick. We have the Lady Death, Nightmare Symphony, number one, Naughty Leviatha. This time I remembered stickers. Woo! Naughty Leviatha. Got a few copies of these sitting here in the store for you all to choose from. Everyone is a big fan of Mr. DeBalfo. I gotta reposition this because the stickers aren't where they should be. Close enough. We have the Unholy Ruin Direct Market number two, Naughty Edition. Make sure I kept those stickers in the correct positions. This is all stuff. Just go ahead and click on the links uh, to take you to your shopping needs. Uh, one link will be for our main store, Coffin Comics. And the other one will be for... Uh, actually, that's not the first appearance one. It's actually the Naughty Leviathan appearance. But there is a alternate version to this. It's the first appearance Leviathan. So there is actually two versions of that cover. Extinction Express Naughty Edition. Got a couple of these out. Boom, 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 boom. Let's give them what we got. A lot of this stuff, um, there's a lot of stuff we're actually running low on. It's weird to be working in the office and then look for stuff in the store and be like, oh my God, the store has shrunk so much from us just, you guys buying us out of everything. It's an amazing thing and we're very appreciative. So thank you very much. Unholy Ruin One by the great Harrigan. Dun, 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 dun. Slow reveal. Slow reveal. That cover is busting out all over the place. Ha, ha. Get it? <laughs> all right. Another one that is also from the direct market. And all these editions I have found are all signed. I've yet to find an unsigned edition. But this is the Naughty Celestial Edition. There's only 200 made. And I also have these on the eBay store, so you'll see the link there. You can click there and shop as well. And I uploaded a lot of really fun stuff the last couple of weeks on eBay. 
But this is really neat. I really love the interiors of this book. It has the uh, Nii Rufino, it's art, and then a wonderful writer, who is this, um, Bob Vardaman, hope I didn't butcher that, gives you a nice description of the Aries symbol and each and every symbol. Really beautiful book, beautiful art. Um, some of this stuff we have as metallic cards. There is not many of these left. Um, I know there was two versions, like a silver and a gold of each of those cards. So um, that's something else if you're really a big fan of this art. It's beautiful. There's the Leo one. That's gorgeous, literally gorgeous. Hey, Bob, how are you? I'm going to bring you on the show, Bob. I'm going to put you on camera. Why? Because you're Bob. The one and only Bob. Uh, oh, come on, Bob. Will it work? Will it work? Shaka Zulu, where are these books? Um, all these books, Robert, um, there'll be a links down below. Just go ahead and click on the links. Uh, the first one will be for the Coffin Comics store, and the other one will be for the eBay store. So that's where you'll find all your listings. Just go ahead and scroll around, look around. Um, uh, if you have any questions, reach out to us at inquiries at coffincomics.com, and we'll get uh, back to you as soon as we can. Or shout out a question out here, Robert. Bob, uh, it won't work. That sucks, Bob. I was hoping to put you on. We'll try it again later to see if that we can find some glitch. Because there was that one gentleman three, four weeks ago that joined us from Georgia. I brought him on camera, and he seemed to be uh, enjoying it, but I think he was in shock. But we'll see about getting that fixed, because I want to get you on camera, Bob. You're always fun. Nightmare Symphony 1, this is the Naughty Edition by Michael DiBalfo. Be in your video. Heck yeah, I'm going to press that. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? I think it is. I think it is. Let's do this. We're adding Bob. Let's try it. I saw your little icon pop up, Bob. Let's see if it's going to work. Come on. Oh, come on. Hey, we got Bob! Bob, introduce yourself to everyone that's new to this show. Let them know who you are. Hey, everybody. Bob Cronister, a.k.a. Chaos Claws. Heck yeah, he is. This is the guy that hooks everybody up with the, the, the old school and new school stuff. He's like Mr. Ambassador. Oh, look, Brandy just walked by. Everyone say hi to Brandy. Brandy! That's Bob. I got Bob on camera with us. Brandy! Yeah! No, oh, she's like, see, there's Bob. We got Bob live on camera. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Look at this. <laughs> we all look out after each other here. Usually, if they hear a scream, it means like Sal or something. <laughs> I noticed that's why I put you on camera. It's like you probably thought I fell. <laughs> so Bob, what got you into uh popping comics? Tell us a little about how you got introduced to all of this. Well, it happened uh back in ninety ninety four. Uh there was a comic shop right down the road from me and I just stopped in one day to check it out, and the uh, the guy that ran the, sh the shop said, hey, I got this new book you got to check out. And I said, okay, what is it? He says, it's called Lady Death. And I said, oh, all right. So I bought a, I bought a copy of uh, The Reckoning, the you know, number one, and uh, I read it and just fell in love with it and put it on my pole, and if it came out, he would, he would uh, save it for me. I got uh, because he sold so much, I got uh, all the incentive versions. I got all, of all the variants. Uh, that's back when uh, they were doing card sets. So 
Oh, yeah. I got like a box or two of cards every month. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. You got so much stuff to just hand out. Hook people up with. It's awesome. Well, you know, I also, I also scan, uh, scan eBay and I pick up a lot of the older, you know, the older chaos uh, because, you know, I, I, I buy it and it you know it's, it's not all that expensive, but I, I buy it and stock it up and then I, I watch like Sworn Nation, Cyber Fiends, and whatnot. And when somebody says, "Hey, I really want a copy of that," or "Hey, you know, does anybody know where a copy of this?" I'll find out and, and then I'll try to get that person's address so I can send it to them to get them started, especially new, especially newbies. You know, if, if someone's oh, yeah. You know, I try to send them something uh, to show them what the old stuff is, and uh, you know, and when when people post stuff like from that other company, is all I'll say. Yeah. Uh, uh, I try to set them straight about that and say, yeah, you know, that's not really chaos, and it's not really, you know, it, it, it's not the real thing. Yeah. Uh, like like evil Ernie and 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 that kind of stuff. Yeah, I, I actually heard someone mention something to me today. They, they're like, oh, they just need to let go of those lights and just give it back to Brian. I'm like, yeah, I think that would be kind of fun. But yeah, you know, it, it'd be interesting how you could bring those characters back that have been gone for so long into this new universe where you got all these other new characters running around. So yeah, I think it's, I think it's, it's also a good thing because we're not – Beholden to the past, we had to move forward with what we had left. And Brian did a hell of a job doing it. You know that, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Brian Brian is the abs absolutely the, the master of it. And, uh, you know, it, it's just it, – it's one of those things that, uh, yeah, it'd be, it'd be really cool if it happened, but – but all, all, the, all the OGs know that it probably ain't going to happen, and Brian don't like talking about it, so we just yeah. we just smile and just, you know, nod our heads, you know? Yeah. Uh, when we did that, did that comics con online where he's like, he's like, you know what? I, I created the character. I played with them in my head for years, and um, now I'm, I, I'm creating a new character. So. His whole attitude behind it is amazing. Uh, he just, he just like, hey, that was the past. Here's my future. Let's go forward. So since, since we're in my office. <laughs> Shows the good, man. Is, uh, wow. This is, uh, this, this wow. is all death here. This is all, this is all lady death here. Uh, this is Lady Death. These are all my binders. <laughs> it's Lady Death. I got my, this is my Evil Ernie Lady Death foreign slots. Uh, there's some more Lady Death. There's some of the old uh, card sets. So, and then I've got uh, some more over there. So that's kind of like the whole thing. I got all my uh, my German stuff, and now I've added. <laughs> I've got uh, I've got stuff from Argentina now. Lady Death from Argentina, um, which I was really really kind of stoked to find. Yeah, I don't get to see a lot of the foreign editions hardly at all. Um, so when I see you pull stuff up like that, that's awesome because I, I never get to see that stuff. Oh, no, I think we lost Bob. Oh, no, we lost Bob. No. All right, Bob, it looks like it just froze on you, but uh, I have to agree with Jimmy. That's a hell of a bookshelf and a really Ah, uh, we lost Bob. Ah, uh, bad connection. Oh, well, but I'm going to try to do stuff like that a couple times throughout the show. So um, who knows? You might get a notification that I'm going to put you on camera. So uh, Haley, uh, warn me in case we pick you, because I know you just wake up in Australia, and I hate to put you on camera when you're like, oh, God, no, I just woke up. So 
if you guys don't want to get on it, that's fine. But um, this is really cool. That's that's Bob. Everyone know who's Bob. Um, Bob is an old school guy. He has been with us. Uh, well, you heard his story just pretty much to the beginning. Um, dude, Bob, don't apologize. That was one of the coolest uh, bookshelves. And your filing system is great. Um, I, I like how you uh, make sure your books are stand up and on a bookshelf properly. That's really good. Always stand your books up. Try not to lay them flat. Um, uh, you, you said, <laughs> Well, we'll try to work around your schedule, Haley. Like I say, I'm going to just try to randomly put stuff, uh, put people on the show here and there. Bob showed up and he is a, a hell of a great guy. And I thought it'd be great to introduce him to the group. So uh, uh, if, if you don't want to get on camera with me, that's totally fine. Uh, I'm cool with that. It's just a nice little thing I discovered I could do and figured, oh, uh, what the heck? Let's give it a try. So. Next, uh, on eBay, for all you folks, we do things differently. We don't do call outs. There's links. Click on the links and go ahead and uh, do your shopping there. On my eBay store, I have right now the Lady Death Damnation Game Witchman Emerald Metallic Edition. Found another one of these in a box. Um, I believe it was a box um, that we were going to do for Seattle. Um, but we didn't. We ended up doing it here. And one copy actually was found. So I'm very happy to put this on the eBay store for y'all. It is a buy it now. So no bidding. I also ran across a Naughty Horns by the lovely and talented. Um, this is actually the Naughty Horns. Uh, Don McTeague. This is signed by Brian. Very beautiful image. I also have a couple of these on the eBay store as hollow foil. Always look for <laughs> Bob, you are a schmoozer. And Bob's got a great voice. Um, I first talked to Bob um, had, before the shutdown and everything and um, had a great conversation on the way to work or the way home. Um, so if you guys friend Bob, he's a hell of a great guy and he loves passing the, the greatness that is Brian's genius that he pops out of his head and puts on paper for y'all. Bob is the guy that hook you up if you're looking for classic stuff. He's got some really cool finds. So I highly recommend checking it out. Um, Bob, thank you again for letting me do that. I'm glad you um, you definitely uh, re, uh, re-popped up so we could do that a little segment. Sorry we lost you, but I'm definitely going to put you on again. You're a lot of fun, and thank you very much for everything you do for us. Um, I also have on eBay, I got myself a Lady Death Apocalyptic Abyss Naughty Hellwitch. Sabine Rich did the cover. This is really beautiful. So I literally have Bob. No, thank you. Thank you for everything. We we really appreciate you and sort of the fiends and the sworn. They all love you. So thank you. Hey, Carmen's in the house. What's up, Carmen? How are you? Okay, got myself a hold of a couple of these Zodiac premium editions. The copies I have are all signed. So this is a really cool premium foil cover. I really love the gold and I love how it just goes all over with the power ups and whatnot. And again, I love it that we actually even make sure the logo of the company's in there. So awesome. And then here's the other one I have. So I do have two, they are signed. You have the big Brian bubble signature or the classic, Hey, I've signed 500 billion signatures today. Got to go small. So right here for you. Get them while I got them because once they're gone, uh, I'm sure I can probably get a couple more. I know we're really low on stock on the uh, premium Zodiac. So if you see it, grab it. Beautiful art book, guys. I highly recommend it, everyone. Next up, another fun sign book, The Sworn Jaunt to the Darkness Hollow Foil. Look at that. Don't look at it and Direct sunlight, you will go blind. Yeah, the full daily, um, I try to get the camera to get it to reflect as much as I can. It's beautiful. Sometimes the camera just doesn't do it justice. Yes, yeah, the big bubble signature. Yeah, it's a classic one, Carmen. Uh, so I have this one copy on eBay. And it comes with the silver COA since it's a hollow foil cover. 
And I got myself one copy of a Malevolent Decimation Premier Edition, the gold foil. Again, this one is signed by Brian. Comes with the red COA. Um, for those who don't know, we have different types of COAs. Um, when Brian signs something, um, if it's not like a metallic or hologram or metallic jewel, usually you traditionally get a red COA for the signature. Um, but your foil, uh, hollow foils, metals, and metallic jewels get a nice silver uh, COA. So, and we also do some for um, artist proofs and what have you. Oh, did I? Wow, Rob, did they, we already sell out? Um, that could be a possibility. Uh, <laughs> it's happened before. Um, I also have, this This was a really good find. I was really excited to find this, um, going through some boxes, clean up. This is the Lady Death Revelations Hard Rocker Edition with a Monty Moore Remark. Yes, that is a Monty Moore Remark. I just found one of these. I put it up today, so um, get it. This is the only one I have. This is it. Um, I'm hoping I can find some more cool treasury type uh, stuff like that with remarks uh, on the eBay store. There's at least three or four different remarks um, available there. So you can find some there. Uh, I got myself one of these. I believe this is a the last one in the warehouse. I could be wrong. Um, this is the Lady Death, the Demon Smasher. This is a homage to the first appearance of Deathlock. This is the Cyber Death Edition. 20 bucks on the eBay store. Click on the link and follow it down or over or blah, blah. I don't know. It's Monday. We all have a case of the Mondays on a Monday. Um, another thing that uh, landed in my box to load up on eBay I have one copy of Lady Death, Mystic Knight, the solo edition. And not only that, it's number 69, dudes. That's my uh, homage to uh, Bill and Ted. If you guys uh, looking forward to that, I know I am. I'm looking forward to Bill and Ted very much. Another fun book, Michael DePasco. Pascali, I should say. This is the Lady Death Retribution Countess Metal Edition, and it is an artist proof. I'm not surprised, uh, Haley. Uh, it seems like uh, some of the remarks when I put them up, um, they'll sit maybe for a week, uh, and some will just get scooped up the second I get it. Um, here's another. This is an artist proof, and this one does come with its own certificate of authenticity stating that it is an artist proof edition. Uh, Coffin Comics publishes small batch serial numbered editions for collectors. Editions range from eight to 1,500 copies per edition. An AP or artist proof editions range in the number from five to 10 in serial, serially numbered copies of selected editions. Historically, publisher Brian Polito retains the artist proof number zero, one, and two for his publisher files, although a few have reached collectors' hands from time to time. Uh, this document hereby certifies the authenticity of this artist proof edition, except no limitations. So you see any artist proof. I also have BP editions. I have mock-ups, very few of those, because we only do like one or two. And um, I also have number three editions. Not many of those either, but I did get a few up there uh, within the past week, if they're still there. I'm sure Haley's digging around looking for it. But the one thing that really got me happy that I found, because I had one of these and it went really quick and um, I was kind of bummed because I was like, oh, I hope it would stay a little longer. But this is a comic book Brian did with my favorite screen, uh, screen queens from the 90s, Brink Stevens. This is the Brink of Eternity number one. It was a one shot they did back in April 2004. It is signed by Brian and it is signed by Brink Stevens. This is it. Uh, this is my last one. Uh, I hope I can find another one. So, yes, this one is the only thing I think I have right now uh, for bidding. Uh, this is it. Brick Stevens, Brian Polito, working together on a comic book. It's signed by them both. Um, that's it. I was so happy to find another one. So, 
check it out. And that's all I have for the eBay and for the Cobb Comic Store. But you know, we have tons of stuff on there. What I wanted to do is also show you guys um, something that's going to be happening Wednesday. We are launching our next Kickstarter. Let me take this off the tripod there. See, we're all psyched and getting ready to go on Wednesday, 7 p.m. on Facebook. Treacherous Infamy Kickstarter begins. Look at that. Yeah, dude, I love Brink. Uh, I met her the first time I went to San Diego Comic Con. And I went, I bumped into her booth. I was kind of stumbling my words because I've always had a big fanboy crush on her. So I bought a few stuff. Um, she signed all my stuff. I bought her booth. And then I took a picture with her. And that picture got deleted. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah, me and technology stretches all back to the early aughts, y'all. So definitely come check us out Wednesday, 7 p.m. Let me just show you some samples of some of the cool stuff that we were offering on this Kickstarter. So we're ready. Wednesday, we're going to party down, and I can't wait for you guys to join us. Right here, these are our mystery envelopes. Yeah, I know. I was bummed because I was so nervous to finally meet one of my favorite screen queens that when I realized that picture was gone, I was pissed. Um, but she was a really, really sweet lady. And um, Brian was telling me, he's like, oh, yeah, I met her. I've known her and we worked together. And man, I was I was I was I, was, I had a, a fanboy moment while Brian was telling me these stories. So, yeah. Scott, no. Hey, man, happy belated birthday to you. Did you have a good weekend there, Scott? How was your birthday? Because your birthday was on Friday, if I recall, correct? Some more. And you notice we got a theme of swimsuit. So this is the mystery envelopes we will be offering on our Kickstarter. And that starts... Wednesday. Look at these ones right here. These John Boy Meyer ones. These are stunners. Just beautiful. I really love the colors and the design work. This is stunning piece. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, I had a pretty decent birthday too. Just stunning pieces. Ryan Kincaid here. I love in the Ryan Kincaid one now she's like in a cave. And I love the candles all behind her burning. And I, I just love the cool little reflections they put in the water um, behind her as well. Really beautiful pieces here, guys. This is the uh, Jose Barassi. So, and I love the whole bubbling concoction in her hand. I kind of, I, I want to drink that and then I'll drink this. That first, that second. That might kill me. Or just totally obliterate me for that day. But yes. Yes, I will have that one first. And there's the awesome envelopes they'll be coming in. We will be making 999 envelopes. I'm sure Brian will throw in some other secret surprises in there like we normally do. Look at this hollow foil. Yes, agreed. Good point, Scott. This is the hollow foil edition. This is great, guys. Look at that. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. I can't wait to see the finished product. Here's a Chris Inouye edition. And I have one of his uh, editions that he did with us. Oh, the hollow foil one, Carmen? I totally agree with you. That is a stunner. Just remember, don't look at it in direct sunlight. You will go blind. There's the Joel Gomez one. Really nice. That, to me, just is like Scream's Jungle Adventure with Lady Death. I don't know. <laughs> is the Monty Moore. Again, just always, as always, just beautiful work for Monty. Thank you so much. He's been a contributor with us for years, along with Mr. Witchman here. And I would love to get my hands on a volleyball that looks like that. This is the Zerdy cover. 
Colette Turner. David Harrigan's in the house, of course. Look at those two. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, Miguel, I agree. That 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 hollow foil is a stunner. That is a stunner. See, there's the Kin Hunt, a naughty and a nice. And back here, I this thing takes me back to the total 80s. There's something about that image. I'm like, that screams 80s to me. Late 80s, early 90s. Let's see, that's the Anthony Spey. Beautiful work, guys. These are really nice. I'm glad I get to show these to you. So Richard Ortiz, naughty and nice. These are the mystery envelopes. Um, our Kickstarter will be launching Wednesday, this Wednesday. Ooh, wow. These are beautiful, too. Matt Mirhoff, look at that. Wow, I would love to see how they draw the waterfalls and just that's just really beautiful work. Beautiful work. So that's just the mystery envelope, guys. Huge selection, huge selections. And then we got the nice size posters. Oh, Ortiz is the man. Yeah, I agree. Beautiful, beautiful. And then right here. This is, I believe that is the soft cover edition right there. This is all stuff we're going to be offering on our Kickstarter on Wednesday. The stunning cosplay cover. Another item you can uh, pick up on our Kickstarter. Also, I want to give a shout out to uh, Nick Napalm. Uh, he really... Uh, has been training us all so we can help you guys on the Kickstarter. Um, I'll be on the uh, message boards helping folks. Um, Joseph Hardy, thank you for joining us, dude. How was your weekend? I hope it was a good one. Well, you know, at least we're killing you softly with our books, Kaylee. Uh, bad pun. Here's the homage. I love this homage. The homage to Superman number one. That is just stunning. I really love the detailing they put going around the book. Just beautiful work. Um, this is a probably going to become one of my favorite homages. Although it's it, Ace is in the house, everyone. Every say yo yo to Ace Bonnie. He's joining us from. Uh, Great state of Utah. Uh, Miguel, yes, thank you. <laughs> so what we're showing you guys is all of the, this jewel. Look at this. Are you ready? Are you ready for the jewel, everybody? Boom. Look at that. That is freaking beautiful. Um. Well, I, I don't need to eat. I, I need to lose some weight, to be honest. So, you know, I'm a little too fluffy, um, which isn't good for my ticker. So I need to I need to lose some pounds. So, yeah, I'll go without and pick up some Lady Death books. Let's all do it together. Let's all lose weight together and use all our extra income from the weight we're losing to buy more Lady Death stuff. How does that sound? Who's with me? This is the uh, Treacherous Infinity Number 1 Naughty Edition by Richard Ortiz. Beautiful. Richard, thank you. God damn. Well, we appreciate it. I know uh, you guys back us, you fiends, the sworn. You guys um, really, we, we are humbled by everything you guys do for us. We're very grateful, uh, and we love you all. So thank you very much. So Carbon, thank you. Ace, thank you. All you guys that are on here watching, thank you. Um, on behalf of myself and the whole coffin crew, we really appreciate you guys. So we wouldn't be here without you. And that that's the damn truth. And we're all very, we love you all. And we are all grateful. So thank you. This is the hollow foil cover. We will be offering on Kickstarter. That's Wednesday, 7 PM. Back in the pink. <laughs> oh no, Carmen, don't do that. This is the metal edition. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing what the metal jewel look like. All right. Here's the lenticular edition. I'm going to show you guys. This is the lenticular. It's going to do three different stages. Sickle down. 
boom, sickle mid range with the lightning strike. That is, I can't wait to see how these look. And then boom, the final. So this is going to be the lenticular. This is just showing you a sample of what the lenticular will look like once we get it in, get it on the books, and just showing you what type of movement it does. And I, when I saw this next one, I knew this was going to be a big one because the first sworn book we did um, by Mike Chrome just is a beast within itself. Is there any covers? So far, no. There's something about the covers that really just are unique within themselves. And it's neat to see the style of artists. Like a lot of people um, didn't really care for, I guess, the Pony Death, but that was like one of our more popular ones. And I'm not a big My Little Pony fan, but damn, was that just a neat idea that was just beautifully executed. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh the highway to hell this is the walt simonson he will be doing our chase covers this is chase edition white walt simonson the legend is going to be doing <laughs> our chase editions this is badass dude this is walt simonson this is great here you go there's the crimson the emerald gold the violet. Wow, that looks really nice. I like that violet. It's the white. Yeah, the hair, I think, makes this piece even more. It's just so dramatic and amazing. There is the blue. There is the omega blue. And what's thing cool about these guys who don't know, the omegas are, like, very rare. Those are, what, one? Should we offer one of those? One of each version. Yeah, that is just beautiful. That's the Omega White. Don't have my glasses on. There's the Omega Violet. That's really nice. Omega Gold, Omega Emerald, and Omega Crimson. These are the mystery envelopes that will be available. I mean, not mystery, excuse me, Chase Editions. <laughs> I got the hiccups again. And also, if you're new to the show, guys, you can also pick up our back catalog as well. There's chapter one, Chaos Rules. These are our premier editions. These are $20 and they are 48 pages. So it's a, a mini graphic novel or also as they used to call them, prestige formatted type books. Damnation Game was chapter two. Chapter three was the Extinction Express. And this stuff you can get on our store, too, right now. You don't have to wait for the Kickstarter. These are available now. This is Chapter 4, The Oblivion Kiss, followed by Merciless Onslaught, Chapter 5. Chapter 6 is The Unholy Ruin, followed by Chapter 7, Apocalyptic Abyss. 8, Nightmare Symphony. 9, Scorch. Chapter 10, Blasphemy Anthem. Um, depends on the edition. I know, uh, Joseph, um, some of the, um, uh, ones we do are pretty rare. Like what I'm going to show you, like the legendary sets. These are the big ones. Usually we do, uh, as low as got way below a hundred. Uh, the last few legendary editions, I've never seen one go past like 69, 70. And these are big, big, big artists this is the mayhew one we've had the adam hughes we've had or some other ah oh, the art germ covers i mean if you're very interested joseph the this group you're in a perfect group if you're definitely interested um to do stuff there's even some stuff where we only make 13 copies and we give it away uh randomly throughout the kickstarter <clears throat> so everyone has a chance to uh you know, scoop up one. Um, we don't just let the mega ballers or the big high rollers uh, get all the exclusive stuff. We make it so everyone has a chance to win something big. And I think that's pretty legit of us to do. And Bob can uh, attest to that. He's been with us a long time. 
uh, through thick and thin. So, uh, Joseph, if you have any questions, you're in a perfect group to ask them. So ask away. And thank you for joining us too, Joseph. I appreciate it. Where are you from, if you don't mind me asking, Joseph? This is the Treasure's Ultimate Noir Edition. The Ultimate Edition. And the Ultimate Virgin, Virgin Edition. Or Vegan. I'm sorry. I have to say Vegan on this show. Can't say the other one. This is the Mayhew stuff. So Vegan Art. No, that's not a Vegan Art. It's just the Mayhew Legendary. Legendary Naughty. And this is great. The Noir. Look at those sketch that pencil sketches stunning work here's the metallic jewel um i do make the metal editions those are fun yeah yeah i love uh the mystery envelope idea i think that is probably one of the coolest things uh we as a publisher can offer y'all see this is the darkness dwells edition Beautiful. look at that this is all stuff we're going to be doing on our kickstarter coming up What's this? Okay. Does not affect me, so I'm going to move on from that message. And then we have a Mendoza 3-pack. This is the Diabolical Duel A. Diabolical Duel B. And Diabolical Duel C. Cool stuff. I love our Kickstarters. Uh, this one's going to be a little different uh, for some of us because we actually um, will be manning the computers to answer you guys' questions, help you with add-ons. Um, so, yeah, really looking forward to it. Something new to do with you guys. This is the Black Rose Edition. Beautiful. Colette Turner did that one for us. Demon Knight Edition. Jesse Witchman. And then not only that, we also have stuff like this. South Georgia. Welcome, dude. Welcome. How's the weather there in South Georgia? I bet it's humid as all get out, right? Here, it's just hot and hot and hot and no rain in sight for gosh knows how long. Uh, we also do stuff like metallic cards. I love metallic cards. This is a mock-up. If you notice, this will be one of the lenticular images. This is the Stormbreaker. We will be offering sets of the metallic cards. There's another one I'd like to show you guys today. Again, another one for Jesse. Which one would we name this one? This is the Demon Knight. It's cool. It gives you a uh, nice little information like how many we made of this. It's 199 serial numbered copies, artist and inker. Boom. I love the metal cards. That's such a neat idea that we do. Another mock-up. Clint Turner did this one for us. This is the Black Rose. Can't, oh, God. I really love the blue in this. Stunning piece. Stunning piece. Man, Brian's got a hell of an eye. This is Darkness Dwells. There's a link to be 199. This is Sun K. Dude, Ace, that, that, I'm surprised no one has done that. Someone needs to do it. I've had uh, quite a few emails because I'll also do customer service um, some days on my work or usually in the late afternoons. Um, but um, that's a question we get a lot is, you know, why can't they grade the jeweled editions? And it's because it just scratches up the interior uh, and whatnot. But I would love to see someone come up with a design so we can – have our jeweled editions grade because they're stunning, beautiful pieces. And then I'm glad we made this as a metallic card. Sworn to. That is freaking badass. Look at the detailing on that tattoo. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is all stuff we're offering on our Kickstarter. Then we even have 11 by 17 prints too, limited editions. Commemorative editions. Here is the naughty one done by Richard Ortiz. So we have lots of stuff, so much stuff that we're putting in this Kickstarter, just like we do every year. Um, 
I'm talking about it seems like every other month we're doing a Kickstarter these days. All right, I got about 15 minutes left. Just going to get to a slow pan of all the beautiful stuff I was showing you today. Brink of Eternity on eBay. The Monty Moore Hard Rocker with Remark. Got one of those today. One of the uh, Cyber Deaths. Uploaded solo. This is a metal cover. Um, I really liked that. Uh, someone posted a video um, of one of our metal covers. Um, I wish I could remember the uh, gentleman's name, but thank you for the shout out. That was a really cool video to watch, and thank you for sharing with everyone. So this is the Countess Metal one. It is an artist proof edition, and it does come with the COA to state as such. And there is its serial number. It's AP5 out of 5. This is the Malevolent Decimation. I have one copy signed for you all on eBay. Sworn. This is the Jaunted to Darkness Hollow Foil, number 59. Got one of those left. Oh, and I had to say, hey, number 69, dudes. <laughs> I need to see Bill and Ted quick. Um, Zodiac 1, premium foil edition, stunning. Uh, these two copies that I have on eBay are signed. And I made sure I tipped in a COA for those. Lady Death Apocalyptics 1, Naughty Hell Witch edition. And I also have a, a Naughty Horns signed by Brian. I also have the Jesse Witchman Damnation Game Emerald Metallic Edition. Got one of those. And then on the store, we were going to feature some of our Naughty Editions. Um, I have noticed so far, every copy I've run across so far in the store, and I have two on eBay, uh, all of ours are signed. Uh, doesn't mean we probably don't have any unsigned ones. Uh, just haven't run across them yet. If you guys have been to HQ, it's pretty crazy. We're always moving things around. and I got the damn hiccups again. <coughs> ah, hate it. Go, go, go. Bill and Ted flashback. Hell yeah. Just remember, 69 dudes. Okay. These are our mystery envelopes we will be offering... On our Kickstarter, look at look at the selection. Look at all that. Look at all of that in mystery envelopes. And I'm sure there's going to be tons of other surprises, man. You know, we don't play for like Miguel and Ace. You guys all know when it comes to these Kickstarters, we do not mess around. This is the type of stuff you can get inside the mystery envelope. And that's not including the tippins we sometimes throw in on top of this stuff. Look at that. Beautiful stuff. We go above and beyond because we can't do what we do without you. So cowbell time for all you people. We love you. We love you. And we are so grateful for y'all. Another slow pan of some of the stuff we're going to be offering on Wednesday, 7 p.m. Facebook, join us. Join us. As the evil dead say, join us. Do you want to know how to get rid of the hiccups? Uh, as long as I don't have to say something three times. And <laughs> hold your nose and touch your toes. I know that one. That's a classic. Give me your uh, remedy there, Ace. Let me, let me, let me hear it. I got to hear it. Let me shout it to the gods. Gosh, I hate having the hiccups. Another slow pan of what we're offering Wednesday, Kickstarter, Lady Death, Chapter 12. Look at this stuff, guys. This is the lenticular. I can't wait to see the finished product. Look at that. One, boom, two, boom, three. That's going to be a beautiful lenticular cover. Sworn 2. I have a feeling this is going to be a very hot, 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 hot book just like the Sworn One is. And then the legendary Walt Simonson will be doing our Chase Editions. We are so, so lucky, and we are honored to have him working with us. So thank you, Mr. Simonson, and thank you for all the work you've done on Thor and many other titles throughout the decades. You are a true master and a legend. Look at all this fun stuff. And then right here, here you go. Drink tequila. Uh, Brandy and I agree. 
drinking tequila does get rid of headaches. Thank you, Haley. Hold your breath for a few moments and then you breathe out. Do it really slow. Dude, I'll get a head rush and I'll pass out. Is that what you want me to collapse while I'm filming this show? That would be um, probably pretty damn hilarious. So who knows? Next time I get a hiccups, I'll do it. Let's see if you guys can make me faint live on the air. That'd be legendary. There you go. Chapter seven. These are all our premiere editions. Oh, God, yes. Liquid death water should partner with Lydia. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Joseph Hardy, you're fitting in quite well, sir. Please join us again and again. I like you. You're good peoples with us, man. You fit right in. If you have to know, there's also, if you guys want to come and hang out with us, there is still some tickets for Sworn Fest. Get them, get them, get them. So this is uh, where we'll be showing you guys a lot of the goods. This is where we're going to be doing all the fun things on Wednesday, 7 p.m. Oh, I had to show you guys this. This is a fine art print we offer on really top quality paper. And these are all numbered. So there is a small amount made, usually definitely over 100. Oh, is that a threat or a promise, Ace? Teehee. <laughs> so, again, thank you, guys. We have a big Kickstarter coming up Wednesday, 7 p.m. Uh, I'd like to cordial you guys invite to join us. It's going to be fun. Uh, we're going to have tables set up. We'll, we'll be answering all your questions and your emails you'll be sending out to us to help you get all your uh, goodies here and there that it's going to be madness. I know, dude. I, I love, one thing I love about. <laughs> With a metal butter knife in it. All right, Joseph. That, I've never heard that. That's an, actually a new one. Look at that. Look at that. It's nothing like coming in to work here. You guys just don't understand. Brian comes in. Yeah, we love it. Yeah, and there's Brandy. Say goodbye, Brandy. Bye, Brandy. Bye, Brandy. <laughs> That's Brandy. She does all the packing and cracks the whip so we can get stuff done in time for you guys and out. So um, she's the one that licks your books. <laughs> not all of them. And not the no, not during the Rona. <laughs> Haley says bye. Everyone says hello. I love you all. Thank you. Be safe heading home. We'll There's Dakota. Bye, guys. All right. So it's about end of the day here at HQ. It's, right now, it's just Jimmy and I. Uh, I'm going to wrap things up. I still got five, seven minutes. Anybody have any questions on anything? Justice for Jeff. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, no coop today. So he wasn't in his corner looking sad and glummy. Uh, but yeah, that meme is pretty freaking epic, Miguel. <laughs> that is one epic meme. And I, yeah, that picture of Jeff, he looks like he was beat with a wet noodle. So this is what normally is our museum here in HQ. We got it all tricked out for y'all for Wednesday. And this is where we've been doing our little uh, online conventions. All our promo videos that you've seen um, quite a few over the last few months with everything going on. But yeah, this is this is where we work. This is where we uh, eat, sleep, and bust our butts for you guys. So thank you, everyone. Um, it was a pleasure to be able to uh, get hired on here at Coffin. Um, I've known Brian Brand for over 25 years now. And it's always fun when you get to work with people you've admired over the years, people you respect and care about very much. The super death, usually, Jeff, on those ones, usually are homages. Usually they average are between $20 and $30, and they're going to be 48-page books. Uh, me personally, no, but I've seen pictures, Ace, and 
I have never seen a 10 graded book until I started working here. And that's the honest to goodness truth. Um, I had never, I've never seen a 10, nor did I believe it was possible to have a 10, but um, I have seen some of the coffin comics. Some of them have come back at 10 from grading services. So that's pretty insane. Um, they say, I, I figured a 10 was damn near impossible to achieve, but um, I have seen them. I've seen pictures of them. I have seen people bravely and boldly put them up to the comic gods and like, look at what I got. Jay Taylor, how are you today, sir? Where are you joining us from? Just getting ready to wrap it up, just showing everything we're going to be offering on our Kickstarter Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Pacific time. We're Arizona, so we never change our hours, but everyone's hours change around us. So this is just, this just is mystery envelopes, mystery envelopes. <laughs> Joseph, join us 7 p.m. Pacific Facebook uh, Coffin Comics Facebook page or even the Brian Polito page. We will be doing the uh, live presentation. They're a lot of fun to watch. Um, some of us, um, <laughs> we get a little tipsy, but we have fun. Um, it's going to be great. Um, it's going to be something new this uh, time around for us because we'll be helping you guys get your pledges in. Um, so stuff like that. So we'll be talking to some of us. Um, not personally, but at least virtually. So it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. And we always have fun at our Kickstarter events. And those who have watched it, I cordially invite everyone who has not watched one to please join us. Um, I think on the homage you're checking out, because I, I do, I, I think that's an amazing one right there, the detailing. I agree with you, uh, Joseph. That's a really nice one. Uh, hopefully it doesn't sell out. We've had some of those homages and some of these other editions sell out fairly quickly. So I will do my best uh, to make sure I have stuff for the eBay store is probably where you'll find it, Joseph. If I get any, I'll put them on the eBay store. Um, hopefully I can get some with remarks. Uh, yes, uh, I did have a birthday on Saturday, Jay. Yes, I did. I'm two steps closer to the big 5-0. I'm waiting for the rest of my body to just quit. <laughs> and Jay Taylor, where'd you find us? Um, or have you always been a fiend or a member of the Sworn out there in Kansas? I'm totally 69, dude. <laughs> Bob, thank you. All right. That's probably going to be about it for today. Uh, thank you, everyone. Um, thank you, Haley. I wish I still was in my 30s because every time I wake up in the morning, uh, it sounds like, you know, Rice Krispies cereal, just a lot of snack, crap goals, and pops. So, yeah, 30s was 20 years ago. Ace, thank you. Thank you, everybody, uh, for all the well wishes. And I just want to say before we go, I want to see you guys Wednesday. I want you to join us for a Kickstarter event. Uh, if you're new with us, come on and join the fun. We're all about having fun. We're all about telling great stories. We like spooky stuff. We love rock and roll. And we love you guys, both you fiends and you swarms. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining me today, Bob. I'll try to get you on again along with others. Guys, I say it every week, but I will continue saying because it, it is the God honest truth. We're sworn to you. I'm Hooligan. It's great to be here. It's Monday. Everyone make this week yours and kick some ass. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.